Hello, I'm Trey Edmonds reporting for the news feed. This is your feed update for Wednesday, November the 18th. The Virginia Tech Department of Alcoholic Beverage Control is asking a judge to throw out a $3 million civil lawsuit over the arrest of University of Virginia student that sparked outrage when video of it surfaced. The Daily Progress reports the defendants filed the motion Monday asking the court to throw out the lawsuit filed by Martise Johnson, a UVA student who was arrested on St. Patrick's Day. ABC agents say Johnson was attempting to enter a bar with a fake ID. Johnson, who filed the lawsuit in October, says his ID was valid and he was not intoxicated during the bloody altercation. Charges of public intoxication and obstruction of justice against Johnson were later dropped, and the ABC says the lawsuit fails to state any claim against the defendants and says that there was probable cause for his arrest. Many voters don't have the money to donate to political candidates or don't care enough to bother. But what if the government gave them $100 to give out as they saw fit? That's the experiment underway in Seattle after voters adopted the nation's first voucher system for campaign contributions. The idea is to get those who don't normally donate more involved in politics as a way to counteract the influence of big corporate donors and wealthy individuals. Seattle voters this month approved $3 million a year in property taxes in exchange for four $25 vouchers that they can sign over to candidates for mayor, city council, or city attorney beginning in 2017. France's Secretary of Sports says soccer matches around the country will go ahead this weekend in the wake of the deadly attacks in Paris, saying life must go on. Theory Burlard says in an interview Wednesday that calling games off would be, quote, exactly what these barbarians want. Referring to the gunmen and suicide bombers who attacked Paris last Friday night, Brellert says that French Football League president is totally in agreement with the decision. And while Friday's rampage led to sporting events in Paris and other cities being canceled, they will start back up this weekend. And that's your feed update for this Wednesday, November 18th. As always, stay connected with us on Twitter and Facebook for more news and information. I'm Trey Edmonds.